Okay guys, let's talk beauty. I wanted to come on here today to show you guys a $75 razor. For me purchasing a $75 razor, just to shave, I'm like, let me actually give this a whirl and see what the hype is all about. So if you are interested in seeing about, in tuning in and learning about this razor, stay tuned watching. got the razor from was called we the people and I also got a toner that was that came with the razor so this was the toner the set I believe cost about $85 and some change in total the we the people razor is rose gold single blade steel razor it comes with one razor and then it has 10 refills they're in a little box and what I like about the refill container is that when you're done with your old one and you need to dispose of it, you know, because most of us don't have like a sharps container in their house, you can actually put the old dull, you know, used razor here and then you can push the new one in and uh, put it into your razor. Here is the razor. So as you can see, it's really pretty, nicely crafted. I was looking for gold, but I ended up with rose gold, which is okay because I like both. When you want to apply, take use the razor, you have to unscrew, take these screws out. So there's two screws in there, you take it out. Once you take it out, this piece would pop up and then you would place the new razor on top. Now, I'm not going to do it right now because I've already changed it and you know, doing it on camera, you have to be really careful with this because a single blade, it will cut you. The instructions are pretty clear on there. If um, if anything, they have them on the back of the box. Pros and cons with using this We The People razor. Pro number one, you are going to get an excellent shave. It's probably one of the best razors I've used in a long time and I've tried a lot of razors, especially drugstore razors because it's like, you know, they're coming out with new stuff all the time. You have Glee, you have Joy, you have the Billy and they're all like, probably under 20 bucks so of course it makes sense to go ahead and grab a razor get to it use it call it a day I wanted a more luxury improved one with you know and this one was crafted in Germany as you can see in the inscription here you look at like back in the day especially like watching old movies and westerns and stuff like that and you're like these people would use like a regular like shape a tool a single blade to like really clean their face so I wanted to try something like that. I have to say that I'm really impressed with how close this, this shave is and how soft you are after you've used it. It doesn't, just like other razors for some reason, like I used to use the Intuition one like all the time. After I used that, even though it was a really quick shave, like a day or two later, it was like spiking up really like quickly. Now, this is not to say that you won't still grow your hair, obviously, with shaving. It takes just a little bit longer to come back when you have a single blade shave going to your skin and actually taking that layer, all that layers off of your hair. The other pro is that because it's heavy weighted metal, it's not going to look, it's not crafted like your other plastic razors. You do not have to apply pressure when you're, you know, shaving your skin. So you literally just put it on your skin and you just like push it back like you're almost like you're combing yourself. But you have to do it in really slow strokes and not be rushing. That's where I get to my cons. If you are looking to get a fast, clean shave and you don't have much time to spare, I personally would not recommend using this razor at all because you, nine times out of 10, you may cut yourself. When I first opened the box and used this, I was just like, oh my God, it's so great. And I couldn't get used to the heavy flow of the weight, not having to apply weight onto my skin. I literally cut, almost cut my ankle and like cut my ankle, it was like splitting open, it was like blood everywhere. Now I've been shaving for over a decade. So it's like, how are you cutting yourself? I made sure that I take my time and I'm not in a rush when I'm having my shower routine so that way I can get in and make sure that I handle all the parts that I need to handle. My second con with this razor is shaving your bikini area, your lady parts. Now this is not the most convenient when it comes to shaving your lady parts. Simply because of course as you can see how big this base is, to have to actually get in there you'd have to do a lot of pulling 
pulling your flaps, tugging, making sure that you're getting in there. It's not the softest feeling in the world, so because it's metal, so it's like you can't really get in there. Like you can, but you can't. It takes a lot of like you know gymnastics to like actually work and get it done but on the top surface of it i'm able to get her nice and smooth if you follow my drift there again it goes hand in hand with my first con which was you can't be in a rush using it so you really have to take your time it's not one of those razors where you're quick shave in and out in my opinion i go in with this dove body wash mousse it's very suitable for shaving it's a mousse so it creates a nice layer doesn't irritate my skin after i do that i follow up with the big reveal toner so the big reveal toner is a pha ingrown relief toner i use this immediately so after i'm shaved i pat dry and then i would go right in with maybe like a saturated cotton ball or a cotton swab and just press it on the area and it does say that it might have a slight sting but I never notice a sting however I do see the difference with how brightened that certain parts of my area has have gotten and then on top of that no ingrown hairs so I do have to say that this does work but I do use it immediately so if you shave and then you go in probably a day or two later and then you follow up with this I, I, I can't tell you if you're actually going to get an ingrown hair or not get them and it also depends on your your routine your cleanliness in general which is the reason why they come up in the first place and the directions and motion of how you actually shave could be a reason why you're also getting ingrown hairs. Take mental notes of that and be aware of it. A rating for this razor would probably be like a 9-ish. 9, -ish. nine, nine out of 10, or 8 out of 10 because I had two cons. And I would give it a 9 despite the cons that I have because it's going to be with me for a long time. It is really well crafted. It does get the job done. Like I think I shaved my legs like a week ago and uh, you can no, actually, I'll show you guys. Typically, after regular shaving, these little hairs that you guys seen in that clip, they're usually back in like two or three days. So with using a single blade, I find that it kind of gets more like in the skin so that way you have a more long lasting effect of shaving if you are a person that does still like to shave i would recommend getting this trying it out utilizing it and taking your time now underarms you know those are covered most of the time so i find that i would say it's still pretty much about the same you do get a nice clean shave but because it's dark you know your sweat things of that nature you probably will still have to go in and do your routine shaving just like with any other shaver. One last thing I want to mention, when I go with it on my face, I use, I tried this one time on my face. I was like, I was just curious to see how it would work because it has two different sides on there. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but one is more of a shorter hair scale, like short end, and then this one is the long end. So there are there is a difference with the ridges, but I use the short end on my face, obviously because I don't have a lot of hair on my face. I actually prefer using this razor to do the shaving on like just picking up random hair hairs over the actual derma planning tool of the Michael Todd's that I have itself. For whatever reason, it just works better. And again, it's that that thing where because it's getting so close to the top layer of the skin you do not necessarily have to go back in and constantly shave two three days later make sure that the blade is fresh like freshly put on of course before i use it on my face never thought in a million years that i would be buying a 75 dollar razor but you'll be surprised what you know a little luxury would go do and go a long way with that's my review on the we the people single blade razor uh, let me know if you guys like this video and what's your take on this blade if you actually have it would you spend 75 dollars on a, a razor inquiring minds want to know i'll see you guys in my next video